My suspicion is he's going to see another curveball. It's Mike Sunday. And we are headed to the hospital for our maternity tour today. And then we're going to go shopping at Target. And then we're going to make Casey's parents tea. And then we're going to go get right? We're so going to ask her. Um, but anyways, that's what we're doing right this second. So our hospital is like... 45 minutes. Is it like 45 minutes or more closer to an hour from our house? I don't know why you're asking me. Casey, stop me in a D bag and answer. God. Okay, it's anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour, I guess, from our house. Um, so I'm hoping whenever I go into labor that it's either induced or. In the middle of the night because 24 is so low. Like if you get stuck behind a tractor, you're you're screwed pretty much. There's no passing. So we were talking about that, but of course he's not gonna have any input now that the camera's out. But anyways, that's what we're doing today. I don't know if I can vlog while I'm in the hospital doing the tour. If I can, I'll try to get some footage, but more than likely, I won't be able to. So. I'm just gonna tell y'all how we are at what they tell us um, afterwards. So we go in the seatbelt. Hold on. We did our tour, and um, everything was good. The room, like the labor and delivery room, is really nice. And then she said you're in there like 13 to 24 hours, I guess. It just depends how long, you know, it takes you to have your baby. And then um, they take you to another room that's just kind of like your typical hospital room. It's not really like fancy or whatever. But um, they were saying you can bring whatever you want to bring. And um, I did think it was interesting that she said that no babies are allowed to go to the nursery unless they're getting car seat tested if they're under six pounds and if they're getting circumcised. Other than that, that's the only reason they would go or unless they're staying there for a couple of weeks or whatever. But um, I know some places will let you like come take the baby if the parents are really tired for like a couple of hours, take them to the nursery, let the parents rest. They don't do that, which is, which is weird. Don't you think that's weird? Mm -hmm. That they don't give you that option there? Because I know a lot I of places. I don't know, I've never had a baby. I know, but a lot of people don't offer to come say, hey, do you want me to come take the baby for a few hours, take him to the nursery and you'll rest? I don't know. Yeah, but... Just go by a boat, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we left there, everything is good. So Come May 10th ish, we should be good to go. Um, we went to Target and I got my hospital bag and like a couple of random things to go in it. So I'll show you all that when I get home. And then we went and ate with his parents and brother at um, Fuji. Right, that's Fuji from me. Yeah. Which, which one is it? Fuji. No, because which, where's, there's one called Miyabi, right? Okay, we went to Fuji. Um, the cook in front of you, and I would have videoed it, but I didn't. So, anyways, we're headed home now, and I will see y'all when we get back. We are home, and I'm going to show you guys what I grabbed at Target. So, wait on one second. It is all right here. I mainly got stuff for, actually, I think everything I got was for my hospital bag. So, only grabbed a few things. I made a list a couple of days ago of just stuff that I want to make sure that I pick up before I have the baby to take with me because I'm a planner and even though I have 10 weeks or less, probably 10 weeks before he's born, I want to have like my bags packed, his bag packed like way in advance <laughs> just because 
I don't want to be surprised and not have it ready. So I grabbed, well, I got makeup wipes. These are actually for me, um, as in right now, because I, <laughs> I was out, and some little loofahs, because I needed that. But aside from that, the rest is for the hospital. I got this lip balm. Everybody says your lips are super dry during labor. Might have been dry like this entire pregnancy, so um, I'm gonna take this one and then my lip bonbon that I have. And then I grabbed two of the Kristen S Signature Shampoo and Signature Conditioner, just the travel size. I don't think it'll focus. The travel size version of these. I've never used these, but I've heard her stuff is good. Um, yeah, it doesn't smell like anything pretty much, but I'm just gonna take these. If I end up washing my hair at the hospital, I'll probably won't unless I go into labor and it's like my hair hasn't been washed in three days and I'm like, I gotta wash my hair. So I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna take just a little thing of dry shampoo because I know for sure I'll use that. Yeah. I'll, I'll put all this stuff up. Yeah. It's got like two and a half pounds, and half. Okay. Um, so I grabbed those few things and then I grabbed this. Hold on. Hey. He'll be back. He's gonna go get me gas. He'll be back. Um, this stars above not gown. And I got this. It's just in navy blue. It's got a pocket and then buttons down the front it feels so good i have this in um like the top and pants or the top and capri set um and gray that i wear all the time it's so comfortable and i got this in an extra small so you can see it's made pretty big and roomy i will wear this before i have him um after i have him but mainly i got this to take with me for when I'm in the hospital. So after I have him, if I don't wanna wear like a pajama shirt and pants, then I can just wear this gown, especially even though I don't plan on breastfeeding, I plan on only pumping from the get-go. I don't really know how, like if they make you breastfeed while you're in the hospital, I don't really know how that works. So if I need something with easy access, I'm gonna take this, plus it feels, it feels good. So I grabbed that and then lastly I got my hospital bag and this is what I went with. So it's very large. It's this like camel color which is my favorite color. Um, it's got this big pocket which will be good for like phone. Like probably not my keys because we'll be in Casey's truck but just stuff that I need to grab like fast. Um, and then on the inside it's got some pockets and then a zipper. I didn't really worry too much about like compartments, I guess you could say in here because I mean by the end of it, it's gonna be a mess. Anyways, by the time we're going on, I'm just gonna throw it all back in there. So I just wanted to make sure I got something big, but also that I bought something that I can use again later for weekend trips, vacation. Um, just, you know, this is a practical bag for anything. It's really cute. The quality is really, really nice, and then it's got a big, large zipper. Um, we had our, like I mentioned earlier, our hospital tour today, and the lady did say she recommended you not bringing in your hospital bags, um, like the diaper bag or anything like that while you're in the labor and delivery room. Once they move you to like the baby and mama room, you can bring that stuff. So since I have my never full, that's probably the only thing I'll take up with me um, while, when I go into labor and I'll just make sure to have that pretty much all cleaned out and just put like my basic wallet, keys, um, phone charger, and like throw my laptop, iPad, um, and those chargers in there because I'll need, I'll want that because she did say you could be in there from anywhere to like 13 to 24 hours, just depending on how fast you have your baby. So you wanna keep stuff to keep you occupied. So I'll throw all that stuff in there. And then as far as changing clothes, um, all that good stuff, I will um, 
just send Casey down to the truck to bring in when we move. The only thing about that is, like, if I'm in the labor for, like, a long time, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to want to have my makeup done, and you're probably thinking, girl, no, you won't. Girl, yes, I probably will. <laughs> um, if I can walk into the hospital with a full face of makeup on, that's kind of my plan. Um, depending on when I go into labor. <laughs> I'll be asleep in the middle of the night. That won't happen. But, um, like, if I feel okay and don't feel like I'm 100% dying, and I can do my makeup to kind of pass the time and just, because it made me feel better, then I will send Casey to get this back. <laughs> So I can do my makeup while I'm just waiting to have him. So we'll just see how it goes. But that's everything I grabbed at Target. We went and got groceries at Aldi. So I'm going to put that stuff up real fast. And then I'm going to go to bed because I'm really tired. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of all around a weekend video. We didn't do a whole lot. I wish I could have filmed um in the hospital for the tour but i just don't think i don't think they would have let me so anyways be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't seen my second trimester pregnancy update video um i'll either link that up here um so you can go see that or in the comments um section below so anyways have a good weekend and i'll see you guys later bye guys